Hi guys and welcome back to another World Painter tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to import existing worlds, like this one, uh, and also how to actually merge worlds. So these are the two really important things that you can do in World Painter. And looking at the comments from my last video, uh, this actually came up one of the things that actually came up the most apart from all the normal things like um, mountains and things like that. So what we've got here is a nice example world which is just a default generated Minecraft world and I've got a building on it so I don't want this building to be destroyed in any way shape or form but I do want to do some terraforming around the area so how exactly do we go about doing that so if I just close out make sure that you are closed out of that world if you then jump into world painter you go to file then import new world and then from Minecraft map and then from here you need to actually select the level .dat file which is um, basically the normal map now at the minute the only thing we can actually uh, the only kind of like versions we can actually import up to will be 1.12.2 due to the actual um, block IDs changing in 113 and above however the guy that's working on world painter who actually has developed it is working on it so he has got a beta version of 113 so I'm sure in the future we're gonna get the future versions in there but just be aware that you can only do this and import it with 1.12.2 at the time of making this video so yeah, go into your saves folder, uh, if you aren't too sure about it, where that is, it'll be in your percent app data, there's lots and lots of different things online to find out those. I use alt multi MC, so mine's in that, and it's on my 1.12.2 vanilla instance of Minecraft. So in your saves, then find the world, my one's called YouTube, World Painter Episode 2. So click on that, and then you'll find the level.dat file in there, and you can just click on open. So what we do from here, you get a couple different options. You have do not mark any chunks as read only. What that means is if you do have buildings on there, you can actually paint over them. There's no protection at all. You've also got mark chunks containing man-made blocks above ground read only. So that is only if you've got buildings above the ground, it'll then pick those up and go, ah, okay, they're above the ground and ah, they look like they're man-made. Therefore, we're going to mark those chunks as read only so that they can't be edited. You can't well paint over them. And you get the same with... Um, Mark chunks containing man-made blocks read-only. Um, so that is basically anything. So you know if you've got underground ones as well. And you've also got mark all chunks as read-only as well. So you could do that if you wanted to. We're just going to do the ones above ground because that's where I know I've built. So I'm just going to leave that. And then it will start to import. It does take a little bit longer uh, to actually import just because there's a lot more going on with the default Minecraft stuff, especially resource-wise. So there we go. So this is what we end up getting the map one other thing that I actually didn't talk about in my first uh, episode is if you are doing a normal generated minecraft map you'll actually get um the seed whatever the seed is you'll actually be able to see around even ungenerated terrain which is really really cool so you can see like here this bit here goes all the way around here or this island over here goes all the way down there and we've got some more islands and then there's like another continent so it's really really good uh for that so it's just slightly grayed out uh, and you can also see the biomes and everything like that it's, it is really really good so what we'll now actually get, if we now zoom in, we've actually got the house down here. Um, if you're wondering, no, you can't really see the house on it. Um, there we go. If I zoom in to... I have to find it. If I can find it, there it is. So this is a little path kind of place. It doesn't show up as in 3D as you would kind of want it to, I guess. Because uh, that would be very, very cool. But no, we don't get that. One thing you will notice, however, is it's got these kind of like crosses across it. So that means that it's been marked as view only, which is really, really good. So what does that actually mean? It means that if we, for example, go onto the raised ter terrain and we actually go over it and we start painting it like this, it shouldn't have actually allowed us to do anything. <laughs> but it did for some reason. I have no idea why it did that. But anyway, that's really, really odd actually. I'm going to have to have a look at that. Um, right. So what we can do from here is we could, for example, raise up like a really big mountain type thing uh, or whatever like this. There we go. That's going to do. I'm not going to really do too much on this because, you know, we did that in the first episode and this episode it really isn't about doing this. But we are going to do just a little bit. Now I'm actually going to separate mine out again onto the side and uh, above 35 degrees. Oh, what the hell did I do then? Dot 32. So 33 degrees, 35 degrees even. Uh, we're going to do some terrain and we're going to do, I don't know, I might just do some stone for now just to do it really, really quick. Bare stone? No. Rock. There we go. So just on here, I'm just going to do some crazy rock like that, and I'm going to do a spray can and just... I did not really do a spray can. I get a good brush for this. There we go. 
noisier brush. There we go, something like that will do. So then from there, you can just go onto this, you can do export, and you can export it as a new Minecraft map. Obviously that means that then you've got the original, which is really, really good. That's the kind of thing we've gone over before. And what we will do, yeah, import the worlds. You should use merge, not export, to save your changes. Um, but yeah, we're going to be talking about merge in a little bit as well. So if you export it, buildings and other structures, overhangs will be lost. Aha, okay, so there you go. You shouldn't use uh, the export button then. See, I haven't done this for a little while. So yeah, do use your merge with Minecraft map. What we can then do is, yeah, merge old and new chunks. You can merge everything or you can merge selected tiles. So we've actually got over here, that's where our house is. So we can actually, if you wanted to, just do something like that. And then we're going to see what actually happens. So yeah, do that there. Um, you can then also do, yeah, remove all trees and uh, huge mushrooms and all this other stuff below ground and above ground. You get those two different things. I'm not even going to worry about those. I'm just going to click the merge button and let that do its thing. And generally, uh, World Painter is pretty good at its warnings because I totally forgot about actually, yeah, you will lose your structures if you use that export. So don't use that. Use your merge button. So there we go. It should take too long because we've just got those four bits on it but obviously this is a really good way to make custom terrain in a world that you've been using for years because I know that some people have been using Minecraft worlds for years and years and years so it allows you to at least keep that going uh, but add something new onto it maybe you want a volcano island for example you could actually build that in one of those worlds so here we go we're just waiting for it to finish up and then finally when it's done we can just go and have a look at it and fingers crossed it won't have broken anything which is always Quite good. There we go. So our house is intact. So what's gone on over here? There we go. So you can see there's a lot of trees. So, <laughs> I mean, because I put the uh, mountains in the forest, obviously it's not going to be very good. And as you can probably tell, it's also smoothed out these actual trees themselves. So they're all at weird angles. But you could have used that, you know, merge type tool to get rid of the forest. And you can always paint them back in. So, I mean, there we go. It's saved it at least. Ooh. That's always good. So that's how you could take a, an existing world, import and actually play around with it. But one of the other questions that I actually had was what happens if, for example, you've created a world painter world like the one that we did in the last episode. And I'm going to try and keep most of these world saves. So like this one here and you wanted to expand it. So I put a gigantic golden rod in here just to prove that it's... I don't know, um, a little bit different I guess. So yeah, we've got the golden rod in this and we want to expand this world which is just this triangular island we did last time. So how do we actually do that? What if we wanted to build something like Westeros or you want to build Middle Earth and you wanted to do it in stages? Well, the way that you can do that is actually by using World Painter for that without having to put it in. Because if you do the import method, you then can't have people building on it on a server, um, which is always a bit of an issue. So, you know, if you had a server and you wanted to do some world painting, you would then have to take the entire map offline to actually start building it. Well, that is a bit of a pain. So if we actually open our world file, so this is the difference, world file for this, which is the original. So this is the one that we don't have the gold blocks on. We've put this map up, people were building on our own server, we want to expand it. So how do we actually go about doing that? So there is a couple different ways of doing it. You can go on to edit, and then you can do add, expand, remove tiles. So this is how you expand a map that you've already made in World Painter. Now, we've already got the water border on, so I don't know if you guys have already got that on there. Say we wanted to make a little island down the bottom here. We're going to actually expand it down here, and we're just going to do add or expand tiles. And we're going to add 45 tiles, and that's it. I actually added it a little bit more on the side there. Let's just do that for tidiness. It'll really annoy me if it's not. Um, so there we go, and just do close. So now we've got a little bit bigger, so you go, ah, okay, so that's the original one. We know that on the real server, people have been building on there. They've not been building down here. These are new chunks, and we've kind of used something like World Border on a server for it. So let's actually build something else around here. So we're going to do some very strange... What the hell is that brush? I've never seen that before. Genzong's added some new stuff in here, and it's weird. <laughs> so there we go. We're going to use this really strange tool. <laughs> there we go. Something like that. And we're also going to just paint it with some really weird kind of materials as well. So we've got this very strange looking place around here down in the south for very strange people. I have no idea what these people actually do. There we go. Let's go for something like that as well. Some my cliff brushes. Wow. So cliff brushes are pretty cool. There we go. So we've got something like that. Let's just do a very, very quick bit of paint on top of it just to show that it is brand new. Uh, yeah, let's go granite. Why not? 
or clay, no. Yellow or who knows what we're going to go with. I'm just trying to have a look. Oh, maces. Yeah, let's go for maces. Why not? So we're going to do above, uh, not uh, except on. Let's go above, yeah, 45 degrees, uh, 35, yeah, 35 degrees above that. And we're going to have quite a hard looking brush. Whoa, there we go. So that's already lagged. This looks really nice and colourful though. Really, really nice and colourful. Look at that. So this is going to look really interesting. So now we want to add in this crazy Mesa Land thing. So how do we actually do that? Well, we do the same thing that we did for the earlier map. We do the merge with Minecraft map. So if you click on that, it will give you this warning, which is this world was not imported from an existing map. Are you sure you want to merge it with an existing existing map nonetheless? So this is when you would take the map off the server um, or, you know, block it. Well, you'd have to take it off the server if you've got it on uh, externally hosted. Yeah, take it off the server, turn it off as well so people can't add to it. Then you use this tool here and then what you'll do is you'll find that. So YouTube at one level dot dat. I'm pretty sure I haven't got it open as well. Yeah, that's good. Always check that <laughs> just in case and then just do open. And then you'll get the merge thing. And then do merge selected tiles. Now these should be new tiles in here. So this is where you can then go onto there. You can do OK. And again, you get all the different options like the remove trees. You don't need to worry about this because you've just freshly painted something. So it should be pretty good. So let's do merge. That'll be running. So I'll catch you guys when this is done. And there we go. Just like that. It's completed itself. So weirdly, that one took 45 seconds as well as the other one. So if we can now go on to back into Minecraft, we're going to open it up. So now we're like really afraid because we think we've just ruined everything. Is our gold block going to be gone? It's there. Excellent. So there we go. So that worked. So what about the rest? So if our builds that were originally on there, there on this map as we were expanding it, what about the rest? So what I'm going to do quickly is just switch over to game mode uh, spectator just because it's a lot faster. And we're going to fly south where we built this new... I'm actually quite interested to see what this look like, looks like as well, because it's going to be really bizarre. Um, our new weird Mesa Land. <laughs> so there we go. That is actually some very cool looking mesas, even though it looks completely nuts. Um, that was actually a really good map, really good brush for mesas. Wow. So the things that you learn. But that's literally how you can do an expanding world. So you don't have to then build your entire map up front. Uh, obviously, it's quite a good idea then to... Uh, Save yourself some time so you could actually expand it. You could expand the lore of your world. And uh, I probably wouldn't advise just doing a random Mesa Island, but you can do it, guys. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, do keep on bringing these suggestions in as well. I know that some people will struggle with different bits. This was, of course, one of them. Um, and hopefully that's answered your question. If it hasn't, do let me know because I do want to make a really, really complete series on World Painter. Um, just looking at these weird maces. Um, so yeah, really, really good. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.